guys, welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. Today, I've got a video how to upgrade your hard disk drive on the Aurora R10, 11, 12, 13, or 14. It's the exact same thing. To get to this stage where I've opened the case, if you guys want to know how to do that, on the right hand corner up top, I've got a video on how to open this case. You don't need to open the PSU part, the power supply part. All you need to do is get the, just the front panel open. Before I continue, I'd like to let you guys know this channel completely survives on your subscriptions. So if you appreciate all the hard work that we do on here, please do subscribe, like, and watch our videos. First things first, what you'll need is a spinning hard drive. So that's here. Now, let me know if you guys want to see me do a solid state hard drive upgrade as well which will be down over here you so see you've got bays for those you've got two bays for a solid state hard drive and only one bay for a spinning hard drive which is kind of sad and especially given that's where the one fan is okay there's another psu fan here it's really sad because like i would love to be able to put a hard drive here and maybe put another fan there you know because like just two fans for the whole system yes there is a it, it is water cooled so there's literally three fans but two fans is too small uh, i'll just show you guys down there my custom build computer okay that has nine fans nine and two there's a big difference between and and it does stay cool especially when i'm overclocking and things like that anyways this video is not about that so let's uh, go ahead and talk about a little bit about the hard drive about this computer so when you start you'll have these wires in here okay all i want you to do is just gently just move them out of the way okay make sure there's no wires here in the way can you see those two handles you just need to press down on and you can hear two clicks then gently take it out now you don't need any screws or a screwdriver for this whole uh, the upgrade everything is included so I'll just show you guys let me put the hard drive down I'll show you guys how this got screws here okay so basically that's what you do you put them in here and you just slide in the hard drive there okay so let's look at how to put this in to the tray it's very easy like I said no screws or screwdrivers needed and you can't put it the wrong way so you can't put it upside down or back to front because of how the screws are positioned so make sure this side is over here so like this okay and that'll just go in itself so as you guys can see just line up the screws here and look at the other side so line up the screws over there now let's go to the bottom and there bang and last but not least this one over here that's it and it's nice and sturdy in there okay now what we got to do is just put it back in okay so it goes back in here like that just gets loaded up and you just got to make sure it clicks into place okay so bang and this one is the one that I feel like sometimes you can miss okay so as you can see both of them clicked in all right, now we just got to put in the wires and boot up the system. All you have to do is plug these wires in. Now you can choose which wire to put in. Both of these are power cable, doesn't matter which one. However, this is the only data cable that they give you. So it has to go in like this, very easy. Okay, and the L shape again needs to be placed like that over here. I'll use this one as the other one can then just go in here. So that's nice and firm. The other one can go in here, okay, to be out of way. Okay, so for the next part, what I need you guys to do is just log into your system. Very normally log in and everything's done. I want you to come down and do a search. Okay, this doesn't matter if you've got Windows 10, it'll still come up. So what I want you to search for is a disk manager. Once it's found it, please open it. It should look like this. Most of the time, the new hard drive that you, you'll install would be disk zero. So you can also tell by how many gigabytes 
it is. So for mine, it is 3726 or whatever. So that that's basically showing that that's the four terabytes. You never get the full four terabyte with the hard drive. Once you've selected it just on that part, click a uh, right click and then go on to new simple volume and click next, then next again, then click next again. And now you can just give it a name, leave everything else as the same. I'm going to just name it games as I'll be putting all the games in there and four terabytes. So I know that's the four terabyte and I want a quick format. And that's basically it all done. What I want, there it comes up right there and you can see there as well in this PC. Now just shut down your computer. So that's basically it guys. Let me know what you guys think about this video. I hope you guys liked it. That's an easy peasy way to upgrade your hard drive. Some people use a second fan in there. However, this case is such a heat box that I, I doubt that that will do much. You're much better off just having the case panel removed and putting it somewhere safe where it can suck in air and not get as hot. If you guys are interested in a video where I can compare stock to uh, overclocked to underclocked to maybe leaving it open, let me know in the comments below and I'll do that video for you guys. Anyways, thank you for watching. Take good care. Bye-bye.